Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, so today we're going to be going to Gialpo, which is basically an ice cream kind of experience that was set up back in 2008. So I've booked on, there'll be a load of us going and Gialpo pretty much is like an R&D kitchen evening kind of experience. So we get to kind of try out uh, different ice creams, how they put things together. Pretty much the guys that run it are Gialpo and Anna Rosa, husband and wife team. Um, so I just thought I'd take you on the journey uh, to see what happens really. Um, I've been to Gialpo many times as a you know frequent ice cream lover. Um, and the whole time I've been here for about five or six years, um, I've been going and trying out their new creations. So it should be fun. So we'll see what happens. Guys, so I'm just on my way to Gialpo. Just walking through Brittlemart at the moment. It's just starting to get a little bit dark. This is a great place to actually hang out. There's loads of restaurants and eateries and lots of shops. So definitely recommend to come, when, especially when it's nice and quiet. Good and honor. Um, my name is Jaffo and she's my wife on the road. And I'm a chef of Lee Tizi. Shida. Shida. Today we will uh, present you um, what we call the behind the scene experience. Essentially, this is uh, an introspection tour on what it has been for us these past 14 years. It is for our, we are in our 14 year and um, yeah, the journey we've been going through to, yeah, to find ourselves uh, in making ice cream in New Zealand. So it was 2007, 2006 when we had the idea of making ice cream. We were very young, very naive, very, you know, everything would have been possible. And the idea that we had was to change ice cream. So much that at one point, somewhere in 2008, we opened the place. And we start pushing two new ingredients, brand new in the ice cream world, ingenuity, and imagination and we said instead of keep changing flavors and this is for you guys can we actually change the function of ice cream can we imagine people buy ice cream for a different sake that to be a treat can that thing ever happen Instagram came out, Facebook, and so Kim Kardashian, and so the selfies. And we saw these people and the trend that was getting so strong about making selfies. So ice creams like these ones start coming out of our kitchen. And they really changed everything about why people buy ice cream. The question that I get most asked is the one I'm gonna answer to you right now. And it is, which one is your favorite? This is my favorite, this is my favorite. This is the one that changed everything for me. Because it was the first dysfunctional ice cream I ever, ever made. <laughs> no one, and I sold about 12 to 13,000 of them in those past 11 years, has ever bought just because they wanted to make it. There is no reason why you buy one of those because you want to make it. Is, is second time. The reason why you buy is because you end up photo with it. <laughs> no question answer. I know why you're buying it. You throw it away after. It's too much. <laughs> Which is the Maori symbol that represents the eternal bond between two people. That's why it looks like an infinite loop. And we have never seen anyone buying this or just for the sake of eating ice cream. But most of the times, people do it as another way to say hello. Oh, 
it's actually a fire alarm, so we need to leave really quickly. Oh dear, slightly impromptu. Something really fun. Ooh, men in uniform and ice cream. <laughs> It's turning out to be quite a good uh, evening so far, guys. Certainly impromptu, but I'm definitely not complaining. So, it was a false alarm. Um, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna scoop the ice creams that were in those creations, and then I'm gonna cut those from down as well. You will be given a plate with a spoon. There are serviettes over on the table if you need any. Just hold on on that plate because there will be more ice cream coming for you to taste. Not for the girls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have three flavors, alright? One is an Afghan cookies and cream, and then you have Christchurch hazelnut and uh, Dulce de Leche, which is a carrot, alright? Hi guys, so that was the gel pro experience. I hope you really liked it. Um, I'm pretty stuffed now, but it was great. Really recommend it. I'll put the information in the description bar below. Uh, so definitely check these guys out. Um, they've been running since 2008 and it's such a great husband and wife team. So it's just brilliant. I mean, you know, you've got to love ice cream, so who doesn't really? <laughs> <laughs>